Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to download a specific file from SFTP server in SSIS or in C Sharp as well. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to download a specific file from SFTP server using SSIS or using C Sharp. So let's jump to the demo. I have the SFTP server and to connect to the SFTP server we can open the Win SCP client. So I have the WinSCP client installed and if it doesn't install then you can install it. So right now it is asking me to upgrade the version but I will do it later so I can click on close and the current version has been opened up. So I just need to type the IP address of my SFTP server. So I can open the command prompt here and I can type IP config and I can copy the IP address from here. Close this one and the username is HP and let me type my password here and I can click on login so this got connected to the SFTP server so on the right side these are the folders from the SFTP server so if I go to the C and data to load so from this particular directory forward slash C colon forward slash data to load from this directory I want to download the specific files okay so before going to continue on this one let me show you something that we are going to use this dll rancy.sssnet.dll okay so we need to register this dll to the gag only then we can be able to download the files from the sftp server so if you open this particular notepad file register the dll so you can see the steps here so uh, we need to add this particular dll rancy.sssnet.dll for the verification speaking because the dll is not strongly typed so first we can execute this query on the developer command prompt and then we can execute this query to register the DL to the gag okay so let's do that so what I can do I can just uh, go to here and I have visual studio 2019 installed on my machine so I can go to the visual studio 2019 folder okay like I can come here so we have a command prompt developer command prompt for VS 2019 so I can right click on it more run as administrator yes so now the command from window has been opened up so we need to execute this query and we need to actually provide the path of the DLL okay so for example whatever will be the path of the DLL I will share this DLL with you so you can just copy the path of the DLL okay and then you can paste it at this location so you can copy this command from here and paste it inside the command prompt and you can click on execute now you can copy the another query and you can paste it inside the command prompt and then press enter so now the assembly has been added to the cache so we are done here so now we can close the command prompt window close this don't save so I actually already written some code which can actually download all the files from the SFTP server from a folder to the local folder so we will modify the code and then we'll see like how we can download a specific file so this is the C sharp console app and this is the method download files so this is our SFTP server the username password and the remote directory from where we want to download the file so we want to download the file from the C data to load so this is the location C data to load okay so we want to download the file from this directory and the local directory will be the D files location so the file will be downloaded to this location okay so we are creating a new instance of the SFTP client connecting to the SFTP server getting all the files from the SFTP server then running a for each loop here and just downloading the file to the local directory okay so this is how it will work and then we are calling this method download files method inside the main method okay and we are using two variables here so this is related to logging so in case if the code will fail then it will create an error log underscore current date time dot log file inside the d files logs folder in case if you want to create the file at different location then you can provide the new location here okay so let me try to execute this code and this should download all the files to this location from the SFTP server so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 files should be downloaded ok so these 7 files should be downloaded so let me just do one thing that click on the start button and it should execute the code so the code ran fine and if I go to the D files location so I can see 7 files here ok so this is the basic code that is working but this is not what we want is we want a specific file to be downloaded okay so what we can do is that we can actually write some code here so when we are looping here so what we can do we can write an if condition if 
फाइल डॉट नेम डॉट स्टार्ट विथ ओके एंड देन हेयर वी कैन जस्ट टाइप द नेम लाइक विच फाइल यू वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड सो सपोज इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड द कंपनी फाइल फ्रॉम हेयर कंपनी सो और वी आई इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड द प्रोडक्ट फाइल सो आई कैन राइट प्रोडक्ट हेयर ओके प्रोडक्ट सो नाउ द प्रोडक्ट फाइल विल बी डाउनलोडेड एंड आई कैन स्टार्ट ए ब्रैकेट and the bracket will be ended here so i can close this one at this location okay so now only the product file will be downloaded from the sftp server so if i click on start button then it should download only just one file so if i go to the d files location so you can see that product.csv file have been downloaded here okay so this is how you can just download a specific file from the sftp server now suppose if you want to call this particular code from an ssis package then what you can do you can open the ssis package so this is my blank ssis package and you can use the script task here so you can just drag and drop the script task into the control flow window and then you can right click and configure this one i can click on edit script so that the script editor can be open for us so this has been opened up and from the references you can right click and click on add reference and then you need to add that rancy.sshnet.dll okay so if you go to the d files location this one so you can just download this dll from the link in the description of the video and then you can add it here click okay so this dll will be added here okay now if i go to the references so we need to add few references here as well but before doing that let me copy the download method from the c sharp console app so i can copy the download method from here and i can paste it inside the script task okay and then i can go back again and i can copy whatever is written inside the main method and i can paste it inside the main method as well okay so stream writer is missing so i can click on show potential fixes using system.io okay so this error is gone i can close this one so that i can take a closer look at the code and for the sftp client show potential fixes using rancy.sssnet okay so this error is also gone so we are good here everything is done now what i want to do instead of downloading this product file the files started with the product i can just delete this file from here now i want to download all the files those starts with the email okay so 1 2 3 4 four files should be downloaded if i want to download all the files starting with the email keyword so i can write email here okay and then what i can do i can just click on file exit and i can click on okay so i can execute my ssis package by click on start button and this should download the files from the sftp server so the process ran fine and if i open the d files location so you can see that the four files have been downloaded so those start with the email keyword yeah so i think this is working fine and i will share this code with you so that you can download it from the link in the description of the video and i will also share the sssnet.dll with you as well so that you can use it in your environment as well so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much